Paleontology News Did dinosaurs hibernate? During the Triassic and Jurassic periods, the climate on Earth was warmer and wetter than it is now. And moreover, all the land was not very far from the equator. Therefore, there was no need for dinosaurs to hibernate. Later, in the Cretaceous period, the continents began to diverge further and further. Antarctica began to shift towards the South Pole. At the end of the Cretaceous period, the climate on Earth began to change, and the differences in temperatures between summer and winter became increasingly stronger. The winter of the Cretaceous period was not as severe as it is now, but still, the temperature could drop to zero degrees Celsius. At this temperature, cold-blooded reptiles such as dinosaurs became very cold. Therefore, it is very likely that they hibernated to avoid freezing. Did you know that scientists from China have created a robotic model of the dinosaur Caudipteryx to study the possibility of its hovering? An ostrich with printed wings was also used in the experiments. Despite having wings, the dinosaur Caudipteryx could not fly due to its heavy weight. But he could make long jumps. A robot was created that is as similar in size and structure to a dinosaur as possible. With the help of a treadmill, it turned out that the work of the legs and wings of these creatures was interconnected. Scientists continued the experiment on a living ostrich, attaching two plastic wings with sensors to its back. The Permian-Triassic mass extinction was the largest in Earth history. Scientists have found a fossilized herd of Lystrosaurs, small herbivores that literally dried out under the rays of the withering sun. A petrified herd of Lystrosaurs, small herbivores that literally dried up under the rays of the withering sunday. The location of the tragedy is called the Karoo Basin in southern Africa. Animals have turned into real mummies. Incredible! This made it possible to preserve not only the skeleton, but also the soft tissues of one of the few genera of animals that survived the global catastrophe. Mummy animal from the Triassic? Impossible to believe. You should check it out. Hey, anyone from Africa, please confirm the information. Pterosaur feathers were not for flight. Scientists have found the remains of a pterosaur. What's so surprising here, you ask? It turns out that pterosaurs did not have feathers for flight. Feathers were for beauty. The animal's feathers varied in structure. Some feathers were relatively short, simple and wool-like. Others are longer and more branched. Scientists found fossilized traces of melanosomes in them, special organelles that provide the color of the animal, and it turned out that feathers of different structures were also colored differently. And these feathers had no effect on speed or speed.flight nerves. Attracting the opposite sex was the main task. A miner is a profession where you can find not only coal and other minerals, the miner can find all sorts of strange and scary things. For example, a pot of gold or the skeleton of a creature that lived millions of years ago. Workers at a Belarusian mine have discovered the fossilized remains of a crayfish. Let us remind you, the Cancer Scorpion is the most successful predator in the history of the planet. The first Cancer Scorpions hunted for every little thing back in the Cambrian, 510 million years ago. But the peak of their fame occurred 410 million years ago. From a beer snack, they turned into a three-meter-sized arthropod from your nightmares. For 100 million years, this nightmare has been crawling on the Earth. The pig is the size of a bear. This pig appeared in the distant Pliocene. For a million years ago, Notohoer was a super pig. A seasoned boar reached up to two meters in length and could eat up to 450 kilos. Just a second, these are the dimensions of modern brown bears. With such dimensions, Notohoer became one of the largest boars in the history of the planet. Giant fangs were needed so that the predator trying to hunt this huge boar would have a heart attack and die a natural death. But fortunately for the local fauna, this monster was a vegetarian. 
and the threat from him came only to violators of his territory. A fast crocodile that lived 200 million years ago. Meet us. This is Nicrosaurus, ancestor of modern crocodiles. Once upon a time he swam in lakes and patiently waited for prey. But then he suddenly decided that he could walk on the ground, got out and went, or rather, he ran. He ran so fast that he overtook his surprised prey. The prey died not from fear, but rather from laughter. Nicrosaurus felt superpowers and decided to conquer land. Now he was hiding not underwater, but in the bushes, waiting for his prey. Then he jumped out with lightning speed and did not leave a single chance for his victim. This animal had two types of teeth, one for fishing, the other is for land hunting. Even dinosaurs, which at that time were still small and weak, became prey for the Nicrosaurus. A bear dog was discovered in France. Have you ever met a beast called Amphissian? In reality, of course not. This incredible species went extinct one and a half million years ago. A creepy hybrid of a bear and a dog. This predator caused terror in the late Miocene. The Amphissian family included the largest representatives of this family, such as Amphissian giganteus weighed more than 700 kilograms and was the size of a polar bear. The famous Amphissian engines weighed 500 kilograms and was 3 meters long. Paleontologists have described a new species of bear dogs or dog bears that lived in the territory of modern France about 12 million years ago. Hell, scientists named it Tartarossian casanavii. Researchers estimated the animal's mass to be approximately 195 kilograms. A little, but this amphissian was considered large on the European continent. Dinosaurs could catch a cold and die. The most powerful and healthy theropod could catch a cold in the wind and die. Scientists made this conclusion after they discovered traces of infection experienced by ancient animals in the remains of a wide variety of dinosaurs. Ancient fossils, just like people, could become infected with a respiratory disease. Or maybe they had their own pandemic. Quite possible. Dinosaurs couldn't wear masks or get vaccines. They couldn't keep their distance. They could not be treated. Stop! They definitely had a cure. If you look at modern animals, you will see that they treat their illnesses with a variety of useful herbs, even predators. But dinosaurs could not wrap themselves in scarves and wear warm slippers, so their mortality rate was very high. Ancient owls hunted during the day. China continues to amaze the world community with the remains of completely unexpected ancient creatures. Researchers have reported the discovery of a perfectly preserved skeleton of a small owl that appears to have been active during the day. Analysis of the skeleton supports the hypothesis that this extinct owl was primarily diurnal. This fossil turns our understanding of owl evolution on its head. This means that scientists will soon announce that the ancient world was completely different from what it used to be. As a result, Owls have evolved to reject the night for fun in the sun. Meet us, Retinosaurus. 110 million years ago, an animal incomprehensible to modern science went about its business along the coast of a river or lake. But it accidentally got stuck in amber, and it remained there forever. It has been kept in excellent condition for millions of years. Even the eyes and skin were preserved. This was the most excellent find for scientists. What was it? It was not yet a dinosaur, but already a lizard of a new genus, similar to a modern skink. The amber lizard has been given the scientific name Retinosaurus camptiensis. The species name is given after the location where it was found and Retinosaurus roughly means tar lizard. The Mayans knew about Megalodon. An American paleontologist has revealed the secret of one of the mythical monsters of the Mayan pantheon, the sea monster Sepakli, from which, according to the Mayans, the gods created the heavens, earth, and hellish worlds, is directly related to the famous shark Megalodon. This is not the first time that fossils have been associated with certain mythological stories. Shark teeth are quite widely represented in the mythology of different parts 
parts of the world. In Japan, they were mistaken for the nails of a mountain goblin, and in Malta, four snake tongues. According to legend, one of the snakes she bit the Apostle Paul, and he cursed all the snakes on the island, depriving them of the ability to produce poison. As a result, fossil shark teeth became popular in Europe as an amulet to ward off poisonous snakes. By the way, in Switzerland the teeth of extinct sharks were also used as an amulet. They supposedly relieved pain when a child was teething. Moscow of the Jurassic Period Welcome to the Moscow Metro. Some will ask, how does the Moscow Metro differ from other metros in the world? The Moscow Metro is a real museum of paleontology. This is Elektrozavodskaya Station, and this is not a picture drawn by a person, but a real shell of a mollusk that swam here 150 million years ago, or rather, what was left of it. Of course, these are rocks in which the remains of animals are preserved. Among such art there are even new and unknown types. 160 million years ago, the territory of modern Moscow sank and remained in the water for another 80 million years. There are fossilized mollusk shells that were eaten by large waterfowl of the Jurassic period. Here you can also find the teeth that skillfully split these shells. Are dinosaurs as intelligent as people? If the asteroid had not destroyed the dinosaurs, could this dominant link have become intelligent like humans? Could dinosaurs have learned to use tools and even learned to walk upright? Could they grow big brains and invent cars, smartphones, and space rockets? And in general, what would dinosaurs have become if they had not been killed by an asteroid? This all sounds like the plot of a science fiction film of dubious quality, but scientists really asked such questions and made some conclusions. For millions of years, Dinosaurs have never experienced an increase in brain volume, their skulls testify to this. Ultimately, it turns out that the dinosaurs that survived the impact of the asteroid would have looked the same, no drastic changes would have occurred, and crocodiles have not become smarter over millions of years. What will people look like in the 3000s? A person's lifestyle directly affects his appearance. The distant ancestors of man were forced to hunt and collect plants every day. This required physical effort, so they had strong bodies with developed muscles. Today, people engage in much less manual labor, spend less time outdoors, and have easy access to junk food. The bottom line is that today's men and women have weak muscles and are also at risk of suffering the consequences of gaining excess weight. In addition to this, today's people spend tens of hours every day in front of smartphones and computers. Meet Mindy, a person of the future who often uses a smartphone. Aviatoran is a monster from the Jurassic period. The full name of this dinosaur is Aviatoranis jurassica. This predator was one of the ancestors of the Tyrannosaurus. A small carnivorous hunter, only 1.5 meters. That's why all the ancestors of Tyrannosaurs were small. There was a cruel joke with the name. For some reason, many people translate it as a flying tyrant which is completely wrong, and it doesn't bother anyone that this dinosaur has neither wings, nor feathers, nor a private plane. The name of the species was given by scientists taking into account the intended meaning. Here is the exact translation. Grandmother of the tyrant from the Jurassic. The common name comes from the Latin avia, grandmother, and the name tyrant is a type of Tyrannosaurus rex. Aviatoranis is one of the oldest Tyrannosaurids ever found the oldest being Proceratosaurus. How did dinosaurs shed their skin? And now scientists have discovered another feature in the life of the inhabitants of the Mesozoic era, shedding or shedding old skin. Unlike snakes, lizards, and other reptiles, which often shed all their old skin at once, feathered dinosaurs shed their dead skin in small fragments, much like modern birds and mammals do. In the mid-Jurassic period, Dinosaurs acquired a skin renewal mechanism that was different from the reptilian one and adapted to the presence of feathers. If you didn't know, many living creatures on Earth shed their skin. Even a person. Don't believe me? Look at your heels. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.
and also press the bell so as not to miss new and interesting releases from the Real Unreal channel.